Hello and welcome back to Chemistry It Is All That Matters and we will continue looking at stoichiometry and as we continue to look at stoichiometry we will look at theoretical and percent yield. So we've spent a great deal of time looking at the mole triangle and using conversion factors to convert from grams to grams, moles to grams and so on but let's review quickly a stoichiometry problem. So here we have propane, C3H8, combining with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. And we're given 25 grams of propane, and we want to know what mass of oxygen is required to complete this reaction. As with anything with a balanced chemical equation, we need to begin. So propane, C3H8, plus 5 moles of oxygen gas, remembering that oxygen is a diatomic, needs to be O2 yields 3 moles of CO2 and 4 moles of water. So we are given in the question 25 grams of propane and we are asked to find how many grams of oxygen. So we begin by converting the 25 grams of propane by using the gram formula mass of propane which is 44 grams. We then use the mole ratio from the balanced chemical equation 5 moles of oxygen for every 1 mole of propane and we follow that up with using the gram formula mass of oxygen over 1 mole of oxygen to convert to the grams of oxygen and this gives us what is called the theoretical yield now why this is called theoretical yield is because in theory if everything were perfect in the lab we would get a theoretical outcome based on the math of 91 grams of oxygen but we know that this is not always the case we will probably get a different yield in the lab because various things happen whether it's we leave residue in the beaker whether we dry something too long or we we measure something incorrectly we know that we're not going to get the actual theoretical yield all the time what we're going to get is what is called actual yield so the theoretical yield is the expected amount of material that can be produced based on the mathematics of the reactants and the products. Actual yield is the amount of material that is actually produced during the given reaction, so during the lab procedure. Sometimes, as I said, that actual yield may be different because of various mistakes made in the human process of that outcome. So from that we can figure out the percent yield and the percent yield is actually a comparison of the actual yield to the theoretical yield so percent yield is actual yield divided by the theoretical yield multiplied by 100 percent so for the problem 2.5 grams of potassium chlorate decomposing to potassium chloride and oxygen we need to start with that balanced chemical equation. Two moles of potassium chlorate yield two moles of potassium chloride and three moles of oxygen. At the end of the reaction, we are going to end up with 1.2 grams of potassium chloride, and we want to know what will this be as far as percent yield. So we begin with the stoichiometry, taking that 2.5 grams of potassium chlorate, using the gram formula mass of potassium chlorate, we can then use the mole to mole ratio from the balanced chemical equation, then use the gram formula mass of potassium chloride, and we get a theoretical yield of 1.5 grams of potassium chloride. Once we have the theoretical yield, we can compare the actual yield from the question, which was 1.2 grams and we're going to divide that by the theoretical yield of 1.5 grams and we get an outcome of an 80 percent yield so we are 80 percent of the theoretical yield when we actually get a 1.2 gram outcome so let's look at one more sample and at the end of the reaction of nitric acid and calcium hydroxide so again we're doing a balanced chemical equation this is a neutralization reaction between nitric acid, HNO3, and calcium hydroxide, CaOH2. 
Out of that, we get a salt, calcium nitrate, CaNO32, and two moles of water. We are going to begin with that 15 gram sample of calcium hydroxide. We will multiply by one mole over the gram form of the mass of calcium hydroxide, which is 74. We then use the mole to mole ratio of calcium hydroxide to calcium nitrate, which is one mole to one mole. And we follow that up with the gram form mass of calcium nitrate. This gives us a theoretical yield of 33.3 grams of calcium nitrate from the mathematical conversion. However, in the question, we are told that we actually end up with 26.5 grams. So our actual over theoretical comes in at 26.5 grams over 33.3 grams, giving us a theoretical yield percent of 79.6%. So our percent yield is 79.6% yield based on this outcome. So this is again how we use stoichiometry to determine the outcomes of our processes in chemical reactions and you need to continue working on your chemistry.